CrazyMikeSaps.com with an iPad app video review for Eternity Warriors 2. A most wicked new Eternity game title featuring massive hack and slash combos, multiplayer co-op, online gameplay, upgradable skills, weapons, and much more. Tapping on play to get into the single player gameplay, we're going to check out multiplayer as well. This is a glue mobile hack and slash game that's free, freemium, you're going to probably end up spending some money through in-app purchase. I'm on floor four in Undead Spire. You run through the dungeon and you just hack and slash your way through using, in this case, two maces. You can see my stats in the upper left. On the bottom right, I have my attack, which is the axe, as well as skills as charge, dash, and a shield. And you use those to help you, and you can tell when I use them because you hear that loud thunder type sound. You get combos for hitting enemies repeatedly, and you just want to beat them and beat them until they go. And go from one enemy to the next. You're trying to get as many combos as you can. Helps you out. Get the experience points and get the coins. Now, this is a cool game. The graphics are very good. I never played Eternity Warriors, so this is my first Eternity Warriors. You will level up, and when you level up, you get a chance to upgrade your skills. You do that by buying coins or using coins to upgrade. Again, the two currencies are coins and gems. You'll find that when you go into Spider Lair or Spider's Lair, which is the next game pack, they have these battle onslaughts. The battle onslaughts include 10 waves. You kill a bunch of enemies and you gotta fight a boss like this 10 times before you get to get out of one of those levels. It's great, you get a lot of loot, but the problem is Glue Mobile's made it so you don't get any of it unless you complete a whole level. Now we're gonna jump into multiplayer and you can tell it's multiplayer because I've got a 2P over my head. I am the second player. I join somebody else's room. You can create your own and it, it sinks very quickly. You know, it's a lot easier with two people. You can slash your way through, but again, Back to the battle onslaughts, you're going to need to have a bunch of potions in rage as well as uh, health because if you don't, you're probably not going to make it. It's very tough. You're going to come up against some significant, difficult boss. They ramp up the difficulty for the bosses in battle onslaught. So give it a whirl. Just watch your spend of money because they can suck some money out of your pocket if you're not careful. Overall, this is a very nice game, especially if you dig hack and slash games. And again, you can upgrade your skills, which is very nice as well. And you can upgrade weapons as well. Uh, again, potions are there and you get a lot of different weapons to use and to find throughout your levels. Here's what you get at the end of a level. Here's the weapons I found. Here's all the different areas you can play in. And again, here's the skills to upgrade, dash, block, and charge. You have to complete certain levels to do so. And here are quests where you actually earn coins, so they do give you a little bit back. Fun game. Watch the in-app purchase. Until next time, Crazy Mike, saying see ya.